This one is your leather combat boot. And we've got it for you in a few different colors. Let's start right here. And we've got it in black. And you can even see with the black laces, it's black on black, even the black outsole. This is a, oh wow. This is a very chic, streamlined, not bulky, combat boot. The one here is brown, and this one has a little bit more of a distressed kind of already worn and loved look. And you can even see even the laces here are really deep brown. And then this one is gray. And look, once again, it's a little bit more burnished. It's a little bit more worn looking. And then you've got the black laces on this one. So gray, brown, or black, sizes six to 11, including half sizes on these. And there is so much care and detail that goes into every born shoe. I'm gonna let our guest, Karen LeBlanc, who is Skyping in, join us and give us all of the details on these. Karen, these combat boots are fantastic. They are fantastic. And you know what really sets the Boreen combat boot apart? Unlike other combat boots that can be clunky or kind of on the grungy look side, this is a very sleek and chic and streamlined, sophisticated combat boot. So this is great to dress up or dress down. It's also pretty lightweight. And the reason for that is because of that opanka stitching that born is known for. If you're not familiar with Born, please know that all of our shoes are put together with a hand stitch known as a panka, the way we, the way cobblers made shoes long ago. That means there's no glue or adhesives to weigh this combat boot down. You're also wrapping your foot in full grain leather. That is the highest quality leather out there. We source the world for this leather. You're standing on a one inch high heel. That heel is a leeward wrap stack heel that's hand finished. There's a hand waxing that kind of teases out the texture. So it's got this suede texture to it. Now you're looking at how we sew our shoes. As I said before, our shoemakers are artisans. They, every single one of our shoes is hand finished with that opanka stitching that stitches all parts of the shoe together without glue or adhesives. The best full grain leather is available. And then of course, deep inside, we have that ultra cushy footbed with layers of support. I do wanna point out some style features that really give this combat boot its uh, street cred. First of all, the lace up system. All the lacing here is reinforced with metal grommets. You'll notice we also have four uh, metallic fasteners to tighten the lace up to customize your fit. Now, once you've laced this boot one time to customize your fit, look what you do. You simply zip in and out. So you're not going to have to lace this up every time you get in. Now this side zipper runs the full length of the combat boot. Inside it has a protective flap, super important, that's going to protect the zipper from scratching and irritating your ankle or your leg. And let's open up the boot to show them the interior. Look at that plushy, plaid, lined, microfiber fabric. So soft and cushy uh, and comforting on the foot. And as you slide your foot in there, that same plushy softness is lining that footbed with built-in arch support. So we've really put a lot of thought into the design, both for the, the, the style of it, but also for all of those comfort features that Bourne is famous for. One more thing I want to point out. When you're shopping for a combat boot, the shaft on this is five and a half inches high. The opening of the leg is nine inches, okay? So one inch heel, five and a half inch high shaft, and nine inch wide openings. Important things to look at when you're shopping for a combat boot as well. And again, that lug outsole, which is signature to most combat boots. It gives it traction, but also gives it a lot of that combat styling. For sure, but but done in a way that's very streamlined. And, and I'll uh, point it like this so that you can see, typically combat boots are very bulky in this toe area and just really heavy. These are not, these just have a beautiful, well, designer look as they should. There's even the Born insignia right here, nothing over the top or in your face, but 
when you see the insignia, you know about that Opanka hand construction, about how well this boot has been put together. Um, so let me show you. I'm showing it to you in gray. Here it is in brown, and I'm going to bring the black one over as well. Um, I think the black is the most, you know, when you think of combat boots, this is the one that you think of, but these are all fabulous. I mean, this, we're making uh, it difficult to choose because they really well, are fabulous. Well, and what I love, I'm sorry, I just stepped on you, but I get so excited about